Since we're on the axe subject this week, let's talk about how to choose a good quality handle. When you go to uh, suppliers, your hardware store, there's going to be several to choose from, and the way it's cut and the material that they use, what portion of the tree that it came out of, uh, is very important. It's going to really determine how long that this tool is going to hold up. Uh, the very best handles are American hickory. Tennessee hickory handles are notorious and classic, or just the classic um, top tier handle. You can also um, uh, get away with some elm or ash. They're also pretty good, but hickory, I think, by most people, is considered to be the best. I have found a real. I found it very difficult to find quality handles. I ha and I have looked a lot. There's only really one place online that I can find, and that's the, the producer of this particular handle, which is it's okay. Uh, I had to search through a whole a whole box of these. Uh, to find one that, that was even suitable and then when I got it home and really looked at it it, it's, um, it's just wanting in, in several ways. It's just not as good as it could be. And I think that it's just the product of the times. I think as uh, Americans we no longer demand quality. Or very few of us do anyway. And if a manufacturer uh, were to offer two handles at the local hardware store and one is $10 and one is $40, well which one do you think most people are going to buy? You know, because they just don't care. It just doesn't mean that much to them. So I don't blame the manufacturers primarily for it. I demand, I blame the society, our society as a whole. We just we don't have high standards for for very much, whether it be building, or food, um, appliances. All we want is cheap and a lot, and, and that's the, that, that's unfortunately that's the truth with with most of America. I've been to Europe enough to know that a lot of things over there are more expensive. That's true, but they're also a lot better quality. Um, I've been to Germany and Sweden and Austria and just from the food and the quality of the, of the chocolate that you get in a regular candy bar to the quality of the dishwasher, just everything is so much, uh, such a higher level, but at twice the cost too. So it, it is a trade-off. America has decided to have more for less and other countries have decided to have less for more. But uh, so that's, that's the way it is. What that has to do with the axe handle, I don't have <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I'm ranting again. Let's stick stick to the uh, to the point of the video. So I want to show you what to look for uh, when you pick these up and how to choose the very best one uh, of the lot. All right. So when you're looking for an axe handle, the first thing you want to look right off the bat is what's the finish on it. Most of these you're going to find on the cheap ones, and I see them all the time at hardware stores. And they're absolute rubbish. Is a varnished handle. Handle. Any company that uh, varnishes a handle. It doesn't know uh, doesn't know anything about axe or tool handles. Those will rub your hands raw, and it's not the proper finish. Uh, an axe should either be unfinished or have a wax on it, which is like you find here with the Tennessee hickory handles. Also, you don't want a tremendous amount of color in it. You want it to be pretty free of color. This nice white color. You can see right here. There's a, a few dark areas. There's one here, and there's one at the butt. But uh, that's not a real problem as long as it's not a knot. You don't want it to be a knot. So non-varnished, if you, if you cannot find anything that's not varnished, you can always take that off. But it's just something that is an extra step and you shouldn't have to do. As far as some terminology here, this is part of the axe head is called, or the handle is called the shoulder. And these are the cheeks. And this cut right here is the kerf. Now what a kerf means, it's, it's simply the thickness of a saw blade. So when you hear the term kerf, that's when you're figuring really fine furniture, you need to figure that in uh, because the, as the saw blade goes in, it's going to remove a small amount of material and that right there is the kerf. And then of course, a, a quality handle should come with a wedge, as you can see right here. And how, the, how it works is this these are just kind of oversized and you have to kind of hand tool them down until they fit your particular head and then this wedge will be able to driven in there and spread the cheeks and that will uh, what is what will hold it together so you want to be sure that this is included also you can make your own but it's nice to have it come with a handle so free from defects you know looking looking for knots uh, stay away from the ones that have a lot of color in them and one of the most important things is grain orientation and what needs what you want it to be on striking tools if this is a chisel or, or other tools it's not going to be used in a striking motion it's not so critical but for a striking tool you want the grain to run this way up and down 
let's say that this is orient this like the compass from north and south running parallel with the cutting tool itself you don't want the grain going across you want this this particular handle needs to be cut out of the either the, the top section of the log where it's sliced right out of the top or the bottom section not out of the sides and one thing you want to also be care, careful of is no heartwood what heartwood is it's the very small center of the log right in the very middle uh, that wood you do not want in your handle so if you look here you can see you can see these grains they're running the right direction you know they're not perfect they it is a tree and these are, are going to have a radius in them but you can see them kind of curve around but as long as they're going in the general direction that's what you're looking for and the manufacturers don't pay attention to that that you'll find them running all different ways you'll find um, heart so what you're looking for is what they call free of heart uh, no heart wood in it and the grain that way so that that is the primary thing uh, as far as you know it's up to you what type of uh, a shape you like of it uh, usually for splitting purposes splitting malls and splitting axes we'll use a straight handle like this uh, more of a, a or even a uh, double bitted axe is always traditionally a, is definitely a straight handle because you need to be able to flip it, it needs to be the same both ways uh, your American type of falling axe and your smaller hatchets like this are going to have more of this pronounced curved handle with a, uh, a large end at the butt to keep your hand from slipping off but but that's essentially it so that's just a just a few things to look for in axe heads and I have uh, if you search online if you just search hickory axe handles you're gonna come up number one that this company um, I think this is the one that I spoke with yeah TennesseeHickory.com and they you know it, it's okay uh, the problem this is actually a pretty good one you know what I'm showing you is the best of the whole lot but I went through about 25 of them yesterday and they were really uh, a lot of them were really crummy uh, there were problems like uh, tool marks and big deep gouges and machine marks uh, where someone had uh, just I just got the impression that whoever's building these they don't really they don't particularly care what they put out because there was so many bad ones the curves cut side cut crooked um, you know more material on this side than that side you know all of that comes into play and makes for a weaker connection um, I saw uh, heart, I saw cross grain, I saw knots. So uh, this is, and this is probably the best you're going to find, you know, unless you really go to someone who cares. And you're not going to find this brand at Home Depot and, and, and Ace Hardware and your, and your corporate, corporate of hardware stores are not going to have it. People who know, people who care, professional saw shops, um, that's where I've always seen these. So it, you, I don't think you're going to do better unless you want to make your own. But um, there is a guy um, on eBay selling these, and he was kind of recommended to me from the uh, guy that I talked to at the manufacturer. I haven't purchased from him, but you can find them. Um, they're available, and they have pretty much any handle for anything you'd need. And for most applications, that's going to be as good as you get. Um, you know, it just goes down to the back to the old saying, you know, if you want it done right, you have to do it yourself. And that's what I find uh, is so often the case. But uh, that's the world we live in. All right. Thanks. And we'll see you uh, on the next video. So we'll move this in just a little bit. We don't want to get too close to this narrow area where we're going to split the outer wood. So right up here a little bit.